more geocaching with Stick Sport Girl and the B-Side Angler coming right up. Hi there guys, it's Brian Katona, the old Bayside Angler here. Uh, it's geofishing, I mean geocaching, part three with the BA and Stick Sport Girl. Uh, we had another adventure out and had some very successful geocaching and wished to share that with you all. I hope you like this. The first two videos have gotten a lot of positive response, so we decided to keep them coming. Hope you enjoy, and I'll be back at the end with a bit of a recap. Okay, there's Stick Sport Girl. So this one's called On the Brandywine, but not question mark. Um, but it's not the typical Brandywine that we typically think of. Meaning the Brandywine River. The Brandywine, yes, the Brandywine River. So this is a traditional catch. Um, we're pretty close to it right now. We're about 71 feet away. So we're going to walk around and see if we can find it. Water man. Got it. Oh. Okay. Oh. You guys can see right down there. Right, right in here. There you go. I don't know if you can see it, but yep. that is it. Okay. Take a picture and uh, cover it back up. So. Okay. All right, so we're going for our next catch of the day. It's called 40 North, exactly, and it's because it's at that uh, longitudinal, latitudinal, <laughs> not so good with directions, length, um, or as close to it as it can be. So we're looking for a little um, ammo cylindrical container kind of like those first couple that we found so we're pretty close right now we're going to take a little walk and see if we can find it okay Yeah, I'm looking in the branches. You guys can see, there we go. There you go, there it is. It's in a little uh, ammo colored 
uh, container and that's pretty cool. So um, we're not going to take it out, we'll take a picture of it so that we can log it and we'll go on to our next one. Okay. Alright, so this one's going to be called That's Not a Helicopter. So this is kind of that same thing as That's Not a Pine Cone that we talked about earlier. Um, and it looks like the helicopter part is referring to the type of tree that produces helicopters. So we're going to be looking for a tree like that, if we can tell. It's a little barren right now, but we're pretty close to it. We're pretty close, so we're going to navigate and see what we can find. Uh, maybe it is. That's why I said they got to have stealth. That was a pretty easy one, so we're going to log it and we'll continue on to our next one. This one might be the last of the day. Yep, so this one's called Who Called for an Electrician? So as you can see, there's a big electrical box. There's right two there. electrical two boxes. Two electrical boxes. So um, there might be a little bit of zebra involved in this one based on the description. So we're pretty close. Hopefully this will be a quick little search and we'll be done. <laughs> I got him. Oh, I'm on the side. oh yeah. <laughs> As you can see, there he is. There's the zebra. In all of his glory. All right, so that might be our last catch of the day. Were we six for six or seven for seven? I think we're eight for eight. Eight for eight. Well, you can see we had a very good day today. So. All right, save. So good day. All right, six for it, girl. Yep. <laughs> see you on the on the next uh, fishing for geo catches adventure. Okay. All right, so we found when we were looking at our map that we have a bonus catch on our way home. So this is good. Literally, we had to pass this on literally, the way home. Literally, had, so why not stop, right? So we're pretty close to it. We're about 200 feet away. We think it's back in those trees somewhere. So we're going to uh, take a little walk. And what's it called? Oh, this one is called um, Natty Baggy's Treasure Chest. So it's um, a regular container, fun, easy to find. So hopefully it'll be a nice little uh, last catch for us. Okay, lead the way. I think I see it on the ground right there. No, that's a 
Okay. No, nope, that's what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about probably up there underneath all that? Probably. That, that, that would be my nice. That would be. There, yeah. there we go. There we go. It even has a little thing on there saying, You found it! <laughs> and we did find it. Okay. Back to the day. <laughs> yep. Nine for nine. Nine for nine. This could be the best day ever. I think it might be. I think it might be. So that's good. It was a good day to have a good day. Okay there, stick sport girl. Well, luckily for us, we looked on the map again and there's going to be a bonus catch number two for the day because we were right close to it. Um, so this one is called Right on the Tower. So it's actually right behind us is the cell tower. Yep. But the, it's not on the cell tower, thankfully. That would be a high terrain difficulty. It's actually in this wooded area somewhere back here. We're pretty close to it right now. We're looking for a uh, medium-sized container wrapped in camo duct tape. So we're going to take a little stroll and see if we can find it. Okay, lead the way there, stick sport girl. That's, um, we call it stink cabbage. Yeah, yeah it's, a ca it's a cabbage. Okay. That's a that's a double. I know. Now I kind of want to look at it because I don't know what's actually in it. This is a double. There's two containers here, so I don't know if one. Yeah, what? Mm, yeah. I'm wondering if maybe they had to replace the container Could at be. one point, and maybe somebody found it. I can't read it. Oh, so. Okay, that's fine. But um, this is the one. And then this is the other one. It's the old ammo box. Yep. yep. So, there's a lot of, not too much stuff in here, but this is, we didn't really show anything inside, but that's sometimes there's a bunch of like stuff in there. There's so, toys, coins, yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff. stuff. But, but given, yeah, yeah given COVID-19, we're not, uh, we're not sticking our hands in anything if we can help it. Nope. So. That's why we're just taking pictures of them. I should cover it back up or not, or if it was covered up at any point, but... It really wasn't too covered. It really wasn't, so... So I guess I'll just leave it alone. Well, there, guys. I hope you enjoyed that particular episode. Uh, Stick Sport Girl and I certainly, certainly did. Um, again, quite successful. We we're having a lot of fun geo fishing and geo catching while uh, the BA's rods are stacked and not being able to be used. Next video will be coming up shortly, and I've got a bit of uh, a bit of angst and also a surprise for you in terms of uh, uh, some new equipment. In any event, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me some thumbs up, and we'll be back again soon.